in the metals quadrant today, taking a look at the December copper, which was over down percent on its lows. Fifth session in the last session that we've gone lower, and again, the worst session in that period. Today, we have the worst percentage drop on a daily basis since July 12th, as well as completing the third down week in the last four and the fourth in the last six. Today on the lows, as I mentioned, down 4.15%, three spot 3270, and we ended up settling about down three and a half, well, a little bit more than down three and a half percent, about 3.6, 3.7, give or take. And on the upside, we were only up four basis points, so basically a straight up day, I'm sorry, straight down day in copper today. Now, rate hikes continue to increase in probability in the U.S., and rate hikes are not going to be good for industrial metals in general, as it's putting pressure on builders and those that would borrow to buy the copper. It's also strengthening the dollar, which is weakening copper prices overseas. Now, the probability of a 75 basis point increase at the next meeting in November went from 59.6% last week to 74.4% today, and the probability of 50 basis points in December has risen to 73%. All of that's a headwind for copper. And then given what's going on with the Fed and what happened in the UK and globally, recession fears are taking an even deeper hold. Yields softened on the long end here in the US due to these recession fears and the idea that inflation won't be strong 10 and 20 and 30 years out because of a recession. And we saw the 210 spread go from 40 basis points last week to 48 basis points. And remember, that's negative, that's inverted. Those are those recession fears. So a recession would not be good for copper prices. Played out today, again, along with some of the other geopolitics and fiscal movements in the UK.